So here we are on the eve of the first ever Messy Church International Conference. And our hopes are that it will be a time of interaction, of introspection, of reflection and a great multifaceted learning experience. What we've really loved about the conference is just meeting new people and hearing about their messy church stories and um, we've met people from all over the place. I think there have been many many new ideas that I've uh, come across here and I think just the interaction with all of the people uh, has been just fantastic. It's good to hear that people are experiencing similar problems and hearing some of the ways they get around them. I think it's very inspiring to see all these different um, countries coming together and uh, learning a lot from each other. It's inspiring, uh, especially because of the enthusiasm of the team and of the people here. We share experiences, we share good ideas. Let's go home and look at how we send the faith home with the families, because at the moment that's something that we struggle with, with the majority of our families being unchurched families. So it's working out how we can um, develop their faith between messy churches and keep them going so they come back the next time. I think the uh, conversations we had about men becoming part of Messy Church and being engaged properly and engaged in conversation about um, discipleship and bringing people to a faith in Christ as well, um, how we can do that in a different ways between men and women, particularly the fathers and the mothers of the children engaged in Messy Church. Any, any other ideas from other people about how to kind of encourage men to come along? We set up barbecues one time for Pentecost uh, to do burgers and things on it. I especially enjoyed George's talk. I found that very inspiring and very encouraging. And um, I'd like to be challenged about what we're doing in our own messy church and make us think about making messy disciples. You clearly exhibit that worship is only part of being a church. You are part of a disturbance in our day that shows the fresh expressions of church are making an impact and you have a notable story within that picture. I thank you so much. I want to encourage you never to be bound by the way we've always done it, but constantly to be looking as you become more international about what you learn from each other, about how you represent in Messy Church this extraordinary thing which is the global church. You are a gift to the church. You've set churches and parishes across England off on journeys that they never imagined they could make in a million years. thought that God would take one small idea in one church 12 years ago and turn it into this amazing international movement. Here's to the next international conference and I wonder where it'll be next time. <laughs>